everyone. It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 31. So last day of Vlogmas and New Year's Eve. So happy New Year's Eve <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> Um, so I put the last remaining stripe in my blanket and then I put the main color on the top to finish it off. So here is my blanket. So here is the top color. I put this color in there last night and I finished it off with the main color. So here is all of my blanket from the bottom to the top. <laughs> okay. And of course this is folded. And I did take a picture of it. Uh, let me lay it down here. So I did take a picture of it uh, all laid out flat. And so I will insert that picture right here so you can see it in all its glory. <laughs> um, so there you go. It, I think it turned out so uh, colorful. And I enjoyed making it so much. It was such a fun project. Uh, I hadn't done a chevron blanket in quite a while. And so, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And so I hope that you enjoyed watching it grow throughout this month. <laughs> okay. So I did finish. Also, I finished the Tunisian square for December. This is the totally Tunisian crochet along that Jada and Stitches hosted this whole entire year. So I did finish the extended simple stitch square and that's for December and see it's not blocked but it's it's pretty good it's it's it didn't roll, curl up too bad uh, but I will go ahead and take all the squares that I have now and uh, I'll block them I'll probably block them in sets of uh, I've just got one foam board I'll show, I'll show you this one <laughs> that I will be pinning it to and so I will probably block uh, I might be able to block four at a time, and so uh, I will be working on doing that um, in the next few days, <laughs> and so uh, that way I can then uh, stitch them together. She does have a video uh, showing her suggested ways of sewing them together, although she said you can join them however you want to, uh, and then she even has a tutorial for a border, and I have plenty of yarn left over, so I will probably go ahead and use the use her border also by put it, uh, to put it together. Uh, so it will not it will it will not be finished by the end of the year since today is the last day of 2022 but um I will be finishing it off you know in, in the next few days or next week or whatever so anyway there it is <laughs> okay so um Oh, oh, and something I forgot to do yesterday. Yesterday was the re reveal day for the final challenge kit that I was doing each Friday during Vlogmas with Ella of No Catchy Name. And she did uh, have a video where she revealed the, the what she made with her last challenge kit that I gave her. And so, so last week, just to remind you, last Friday was the... The fourth challenge kit that I did opened that was from her and it was a ball of pink yarn kind of a dusty pink color it was a ball of a uh, kind of a khaki color I guess or beige color buff something color yarn and a pair of safety eyes and so I took those two and I looked through my uh, list of saved or bookmarked video uh, patterns that I hadn't hadn't made yet. I wanted to find something that I that I had that I was wanting to make that I could use it with. And so I did find something and so I ended up making this little duck. <laughs> this is a pattern. It's here on Ravelry. I don't remember I mean not here. It's on Ravelry. This is YouTube. <laughs> um it it was something I had in my Ravelry library for a long time. It's a free pattern. Um, I, I can't remember. The name of the pattern is called Ducky the Little Duckling, I think. And, um, yeah. And so, I, in, fact, in fact, I think I had to use my computer to translate it to English, possibly. Or maybe there was an English version download. I can't remember now. But anyway, I think it turned out really cute. Of course, he cannot s sit 
you know, because he's rounded. He can't sit by himself or anything. But I think he just turned out so cute. And, of course, I, I have some more of the pink and the tan color yarn left. Um, so I will be just adding that to my collection of scrap balls <laughs> that I will be using in future scrap projects. Um, and so I did have to add the yellow for his beak uh, and the stuffing. But besides that, uh, I used what Ella gave me. So anyway, there you go. I think he turned out super cute. <laughs> okay, so that is my final challenge kit, the reveal. And I showed you in my, uh, my Vlogmas blanket all finished. So that's awesome. <laughs> so uh, I did, since today is New Year's Eve, I decided to go ahead and do a review of my goals that I had set for this year, for 2022. If you hear booming back and forth in the background, there are people that are popping fireworks. They started yesterday, so they're popping them early. Every once in a while, last night, you could hear a pop, pop, different places. Well, now you're hearing them too, even though it's not midnight yet. Yeah, I don't don't have my watch on, but I know it's it's later in the evening. Um, I would have made the video earlier, but my son and my grandbaby came over for dinner um, because uh, his wife had to like run some errands and things, so they came over and uh, had dinner with us, and so that was nice. And so they just left, so um, that's why my video is coming out later. But anyway, let's go on, and I will review my goals for 2022, and we will see how I did. Okay, so let me get my little book here. Here's my little book I've been writing in for the past several years. I have these little tabs I put in here. So I have, it started with 2019. So I have 2019, uh, 2020, 2021, and now 2022 has been completed. And I still have more pages, probably do a couple more years. So uh, I love this book. I got it at Tuesday morning. It's got this little magnetic closure here. Let me show you. See, see, isn't that cute? I just thought it was so pretty. Okay, <laughs> so the goals for 2022 that I had, I had uh, six items listed, okay? The first one I had, the first category was yarn, and I had subtitles under that. I had consider what you have before buying new yarn, and also to use up scraps. Okay, so consider what you have. How well did I do that? Well, I did really well. I did not... I. I ordered yarn two different times for particular projects. And then besides that, I the only time I bought yarn this whole year was if I had to replace a basic color like white, black, you know, um, uh, cafe latte, use a lot of that. And um, yeah, I bought a big skein of yellow, you know, just when I'm out of a particular like basic color to replace, you know, but besides that, I did not uh, have any big yarn hauls or anything throughout this year, so that's good, so I did, I met that goal, okay, uh, and also it said to use up scraps, well, I did in this project, <laughs> so that's good, um, I could use more work in that, and of course, we, that will be a carryover to tomorrow, where I'm going to talk about my goals for 2023, so I'll get in more of that tomorrow, but yes, uh, I did uh, use up scraps, but not as much as I wanted. So anyway, okay. Now category number two says charity. And so I wanted to make 40 preemie hats that I donated to the NICU hospital here, the NICU department in one of the hospitals here. And I did do that. I met my goal, made the 40 hats. Uh, I wanted to continue to make feel better friend dolls. And I did, I made actually, I took an inventory and I will, um, share with you what all items I made this year. Uh, but the Feel Better Friend Dolls, it says that I made five throughout the year. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. So uh, so I did meet that. I didn't have a particular number. I just said Feel Better Friend Dolls. I wanted to keep making them. And so I did, I did do that. Okay. And then the other thing I put is other items. So I made uh, 
items to donate to the Garfield make-along for Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet. I did that. And I also donated a few little items. They were backpack buddies and small amigurumis that I made for Crystal of Chronically Crocheting for her Yarn Fairy event that she had for the uh, Trunk or Treat. And so I donated some to that also. So, um, so yeah, I think I met those goals really well. Okay, and so... Uh, number three category was projects. So I said that I wanted to have make some baby blankets to have on hand. And I kind of did that. Not as much as I should have. Uh, I do have, I know I have a, a blue baby blanket, at least one. And then I have a pink one in there too in my closet. So yes, I have a couple baby blankets. But um, I could have made more. But anyway. So, I met that goal pretty well. <laughs> okay, and then I also put Stitch Your Library. So, I wanted to continue to use I, uh, patterns from my library of books that I have and patterns that I had bookmarked, you know, to use on the computer and stuff and never use them. And so, I wanted to try to use some of these patterns that I've been saving for so long. And I did do that. I think, I, let's see, I tried to keep track of how many items that I I uh, made that was considered Stitch Your Library. And let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 18. I have 18 projects that I, I lab, uh, categorized as Stitch Your Library. So not bad, not bad. Okay, and then let's see, the next one, item number four was record keeping. I said I wanted to keep track of the pattern name, where you can find the pattern. These are uh, projects that I've made and what hook size that I used. And I did do that. I've got all my pages here where I had, uh, I did the items, the item name, the hook I used and where to find it. Okay. So for example, uh, the Siamese cat that I just made, I wrote that down. I used a 3.5 millimeter hook and it is a pattern by Jess Huff. And I put a check mark saying that I completed it. So I, I, I have been keeping track of that. I don't keep track any more details besides that. I don't usually put down like what yarn I used or anything like that. Basically is where to find the pattern. Uh, when I did it, because I do put m the month, like see I have DEC right there for December. I have, here's November projects right there, NOV. So I did do that. Um, I didn't keep track of like how long it took me to make them or anything like that. Uh, it, that to me is just getting too stressful and too many details. Mainly just the name of the pattern, where to find it, and my hook size. <laughs> the hook size is definitely important because I've had people ask me projects that I made maybe two years ago and ask me, what hook size did you use for whatever that project was? And I have had to look back in my book to find it. So it's so helpful to do that. <laughs> so yes. Oh, and also even if somebody asks me what hook size I use, also, sometimes I want to make that project again, like like uh, the gingerbread boy that I made. I remember I made two of them, and then like a year or so later, somebody else wanted one, and I made one, and I had to go back to see because I wanted to make sure. Oh, I know what it was. I made the gingerbread boy for this partic one particular friend of mine. And then she, a couple of years later, she wanted me to make a gingerbread girl the same size, you know, so they would match. And so I wanted to make sure I used the same hook in this. In, so that way I, you know, they would come out the same height or whatever. And so it definitely is, is very helpful to keep track of what hook you use for that project. <laughs> so anyway, so I did that. Uh, and that was all I had under record keeping. Okay, next is uh, goals I had for my channel. So I said that I wanted to be making, I wanted to make tutorials this year, and I did, but not near as many as I was going to. I had it all planned out, like this month I was going to do this tutorial, and, and you know, and I don't know, just things came up and it just kind of fell to the wayside as far as my tutorial schedule. And so I just didn't, didn't do that as much as I wanted to. 
So, okay, I also said that I wanted to do Vlogmas plus one more month-long event, and I did. I did Veda, which was video every day in April. I did that this past year. I did Vlogist, which was in August, okay, uh, and I did Vlogmas. So, I actually did Vlogmas plus two more. Uh, I did not do Vlogtober. I kind of, re I kind of feel I regret it because I wanted to do Vlogtober, but... It just like Vlogist, Vlogtober, and Vlogmas is so close together because it's like August and then you take September off and then it's time to do Vlogtober in October. You know, it's like every other month, three month, three different times in a row, you know, and um, that to me is kind of hard. <laughs> but I did Veda and then I had several months off before I did Vlogist. So uh, anyway, <laughs> so I, I felt like I met that goal. Okay. And the only other thing I had under channel was I was wanting to do some live chats and I did not do it. In fact, I had that goal the year before, 2021, and I didn't do it. And so I pulled it forward. I moved it forward to 2022 and I still didn't do any. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what 2023 holds. <laughs> okay, and then the last category I had was sewing. I said that I wanted to sew at least one day per week, and I didn't do it. I, I did good every once in a while, but it wasn't like a weekly thing. I would kind of take it in spurts, and I would do a lot of sewing, and then I would kind of stop and not do. Like right now, I haven't sewed in, in a while. Sewn <laughs> in a while. Um, so that one really, I didn't really meet that goal because I didn't keep it up and do one day per week. Uh, also, I said that I wanted to use my AccuQuilt cutter, which is a fabric cutter machine that I have, and I actually did use it several times uh, throughout the year, you know, so so that's good. I did meet that goal. Okay, so that was my goals for 2022. Now, let me tell you about the inventory items. So, I went through all my projects, the ones that I completed, and I just kind of did like categories and how many items in that category that I've completed. And so I wrote it down. I always like to do this every year. I think it's just fun to see, you know, uh, what it was that I made the most of and that sort of thing. So let's get on to that. Okay. So baby blankets I have that I made four. Okay. Uh, amigurumis. Now these are the, like the big size, like the uh, rabbit the that doll you know this size the dog right there yeah <laughs> and so um i made 22 of the bigger sized amigurumis okay and then uh backpack buddies i made 29 it's funny i didn't make 30 i made 29 <laughs> um the preemie hats i made 40 okay uh, now, I also wrote down mini amigurumis, which were like the backpack buddies and then just the mini small ones like the Alice and the card man right there and the mushroom, the Mario mushroom right there, see? And, uh, oh, the rabbit, that one, Alice and the white rabbit. Anyway, the little ones. I made 23 of those, Okay. Okay, a uh, crochet ornaments, like a Christmas ornament, something you has a hanging loop and you hang it on the tree. I made three of those. Uh, I made two bookmarks. Uh, Feel Better Friend Dolls, I made five, okay. Uh, crochet eggs, now these were like the swirling uh, Easter eggs that I made. I made three of those. It went into a basket, okay. So I made three of those. Uh, I made six hot pads. Okay, and now that includes uh, a mug rug or a coaster or the hot pads. I kind of linked them all together. Okay, uh, I made two bags, little drawstring type bags, okay, uh, crocheted. I made two throws, you know, Afghan throws. Okay, I made two of those that were finished and completed. Uh, this was one of them right here. <laughs> uh, I made one dishcloth. I made two crocheted flowers. Uh, I made one shawl. I made one uh, um, pen holder cup. You know, it's, do I have it? It's the one that was, it looked like a turkey. I don't see the cup. Anyway, it was, it was a cup, a plastic cup icing container, and I covered it, you know, and then you could put pins or hooks or whatever in with the, the cover that I made on it was crocheted. So I made one of those, and then I made one needle case. 
And that's all the items that I have written down that I took inventory of. And that was a total of 147 items. <laughs> so um, that is what I did for 2022. So I'm really happy with that. Um, so as far as used up yarn. Oh, and also, let me, let me get my container here. Okay, I did keep my yarn labels to see how many, la you know, labels I, uh, how many I used. And of course, they're all different sizes. So I, I, ha I haven't counted them. Some of them are like really small, like the little, the little, um, what do you call those? The bonbons, you know, those little ones. And then some of them are like jumbos, like that Red Heart Super Saver right there is the jumbo size. And then other ones are just the smaller sizes. So I, I haven't counted them. They, there's a lot, in, it looks like a lot in this container. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I will save them this next year. It's kind of, I guess it's kind of fun to see how many I, how many I collect. And I still got the, this big container. So maybe, maybe I will do that again. I don't know. I haven't decided. It's kind of fun, I guess, to see that. And then now I'll just toss them. Oh, put them, no, I will recycle because we recycle. So I will put this in the recycling bin, the, the paper labels. But anyway, so there's my yarn labels for the year of 2022. Now, to me, it's not quite accurate because a lot of my yarn was leftover yarn that I used that had no labels anymore. So that's why it's not like accurate as far as how many ounces of yarn you use or pounds, you know, or how many yards or whatever i mean i don't know i can't just go by the labels because like i said a lot of the stuff i used didn't have labels anyway let me put this down <laughs> okay um so that is my year in review of 2022 so i did i think i did pretty well on my goals i didn't meet all of them but i met most of them so that's good and so um thank you so much for joining me for new year's eve and Follow me all through vlog, Vlogmas this year. This is the first year that I've actually gone all the way to day 31. Uh, the, the Vlogmas is before that I would do. I would go up to Christmas Day, which is the 25th, and then I would stop and I would not uh, you know, make the, uh, the tw day 26 to 30. Yeah, because on 31, I would do my New Year, my my New Year's Eve review of my goals. But um, this year, I did do all the way through day 31. Um, so that's, that's, I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, it was fun. And I hope that you enjoyed following me along through this month. Um, yeah, I appreciate everybody watching and all your wonderful comments. And so uh, I guess that's it. I'm going to go in there and spend the evening with my, my hubby for New Year's Eve. We have a bottle of sparkling grape juice non-alcoholic. I don't know if it's grape juice or sparkling apple juice. It's one or the other. I don't know, but it's non-alcoholic because we don't drink. <laughs> We're teetotalers. <laughs> and we are going to be sharing that together when the new year rings in. And uh, that's it. We're staying right here, safe and sound and away from all the crowds and and just watch the fireworks on TV probably. And then maybe step out on the front porch when all the all the, everything goes off at midnight. So, um, but anyway, we're going to have a Besides that, it'll be a nice, cozy, and quiet New Year's Eve together. This will be, let's see, we have spent every New Year's Eve, or ringing in the New Year's, every one for, since 1980, I think. <laughs> Let me think, because that includes years that we dated. So, um, we started dating in 1980. So, the first New Year's that we spent together, it was between, you know, ringing in, um, well, ending 1980 ringing in 1981 so we have spent every one together since then so um anyway i'm gonna go so i can spend another one with him everybody thanks so much for coming by and visiting for new year's eve happy new year to everyone and i will be back tomorrow for new year's day and if you want to know what i'm going to be planning this next year for my goals for 2023 then come check my video out tomorrow and then i will give you a proper new year's day greeting and uh, my hopes for everyone for this upcoming new year's so check out my video tomorrow until then i will see you in the next video bye